Hey guys, today we're installing our speaker system right over here. We've got the old speakers. Uh, Ford like paid about like eight dollars for these uh, crappy speakers, and you can just see that they're just worn out completely. So, I ended up getting these nice uh, Rockford Fosgate Prime Series, pretty good set, and uh, you can definitely see the difference on them. Like, look at the magnets, way bigger magnet on the depth, and then radius as well, and you can see just a lot better shape. So, we're gonna take off the passenger side and show you kind of how to take off the door panel and install it and then you can do it on the other side as well we're doing this side first so we can kind of figure it out but let's go to the passenger side and get it done there we go get our eight millimeter in there and then i don't have an extension so there we go So right inside here you can see this little lip. What you want to do is be able to get some kind of hook in there, fit it in there. Oh my god. I need a man to do it. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god he broke it. Pull it out and then you're set. And then we also have another 8 millimeter right there and then this is a really long screw so it kind of takes a while just nice and slow movements and just pull it out but it's a really long screw so 10 minutes later we might have it out here we go now we do so we got uh, one on the bottom here And then we also have one on this side too as well. These two pop out and then we can lift up and take the cover off. So now you've got this screw out, this screw, and then the two on the bottom, and it's literally just pull it up. But make sure you pull it up all the way because you don't want to pop off this little metal bracket that's inside. So just pull up. Nice and easy. And then there's a couple things we need to uh, connect, disconnect over here. We have just the uh, locking mechanism. You can see unclip it right there. We, and then we also have the window adjustment. And then just feel for the clip. And then there we go. And we're just gonna leave on it's all good. Okay. And we're just going to leave on this part. It's not really a big deal because I'm just going to lift it off and then move it to the side. And now you can see we have access to the speaker. We got limited tools, so we're just using an adjustable wrench to take these screws off. Pretty easy to take out. There's just one, two, three, and four. And then once we take this out, we can uh, disconnect the connector. And it's really easy because all we have is the uh, connector to the speaker, and then I have an adapter that's gonna connect so we don't have to do any uh, soldering or crimping, which makes life easy and reliable as well. So now we can pull it out. You can see there's the adapter. And then this is how most uh, connectors work. You just push that connector in and it comes right out. Now we got our trashy speaker we can get rid of. See we have a thicker one and a thinner one. And then same here. 
so you can't really screw up the connections. So you just uh, slide the smaller piece on there nice and easy. It kind of clicks in there. You'll feel it slide in there, which is nice. Same thing, just wiggle it on there. And then uh, you want to connect it here as well with the connector. You'll hear it click, maybe do a little tug to make sure it's going to stay on there. doesn't really matter if it's upside down or not, but we're going to make the Rockford Fosgate logo straight up. Then we just want to put the screws back in. The magnet's screwing me up back there. All right, so we got it going with the screws in. Now you just want to test it out, make sure it works. Yeah, we're all set to go. It looks pretty good. And to put it back on, it's exactly the opposite. You just want to plug these back in on the bottom over here. <laughs> if you can see them. <laughs> That's I'm struggling. <laughs> you want me to plug it in? Am I good? No. <laughs> yeah, I got it. You gotta get closer. All right, we got those both plugged in again. Slide it back on. Probably the most fragile part is right here. You don't want to like crack or break this, so you just want to keep an eye on it. It's probably better to have another person helping you. So you kind of want to be easier. What? Where's that um, screwdriver? Right there. So you kind of want to have it up and then pushed in. So then those hooks get all the way into the door and then you can push it all the way down. But what Spencer's uh, doing is he's just lining it up and uh, trying to get that door lock on there. Ready? And once we have it on there, then we can uh, push it down. And you can see we're looking pretty good there. So all we got to do is screw these back in, one, two, three, four, and we're set. Ensure that this door panel is on correctly too, because you can miss some of the clips on the bottom. And uh, to put it back in, you just want to, you know, put it back in. Ready? You got to use that satisfying click.